Vibe coding is great. You just zone in, type a few instructions, and boom, the code works. You don't know how, you don't know why. And that's a problem. See, vibe coding doesn't actually come from you. You don't write the code, you channel it through caffeine, anxiety, and lo-fi beats. For a brief few hours, you enter a trance and let AI take over. It uses your prompt to type 500 lines of code you don't really understand, but hey, it works. Wow, this is working great. Wait, this button needs to be centered. Let me just write another prompt to fix it. Wait, now the drop down isn't working. What? Now comes the real part, debugging. Oh, just trace your logic. What logic? And don't even try refactoring. Every time you touch one part, something else breaks. It's like Jenga, but the blocks are promises and the tower is on fire. You stare at a function like it owes you rent. It's got clever names like handle things and do magic. No comments, no docs, just raw vibes and false confidence. And now it's broken. And guess what? You can't fix it because it was never your code to begin with. So yeah, spoiler alert, vibe coding is not that great. It's lazy work, it gets ugly fast, and it turns debugging into digital archaeology. Drop a comment if you've ever opened your own repo and said, who wrote this? And the answer was you. Like, sub, and remember, real devs write tests. Vibe coders write 1,000 lines of code and create problems that only they deserve.